number seven, I need to simplify this fraction. Well, I look at the bottom and I see two pieces and I'm like, hey, that can simplify out, can it? What can be factored out of a 10x squared plus a 5x? Well, number wise, a 10 and 5 both have a 5 that can factor out and they both have x's. So I'm going to factor out a 5x. So 5x times what gives us the 10x squared? 5 times 2 gives me the 10 and then an x. x times x is x squared. Plus 5x times what gives you back the 5x? A 1. So the bottom we need to factor out. And we get 5x times the quantity 2x plus 1. All over 10x cubed. Okay, now we can do something here. The 10 and the 5. Now look, 2x plus 1 is its own piece here. You're not going to mess with that unless up top you have a 2x plus 1. So he's his own piece. Nothing's happening there. It's being multiplied by 5x. So we look at the 10 and the 5. We're like, hey, both can be divided by 5. He becomes a 2. He becomes a 1. He's got x cubed. He's got a single x. So that 1x will go away with 1x up here, changing him to an x squared. So I'm going to have a 2 x squared on top in the bottom that became a one that became a one and we were just left with 2x plus one which again is all to itself you don't have to put it in parentheses but it's all to itself it cannot break down with the number up top let's look at this one again we're gonna have to factor out at the bottom six and two have a common factor of two and an x can also come out That'll leave us behind with 3x squared because 2x squared times 3x squared gives you 6x cubed plus 2x times a 1. Up top, we have a 2x. Now again, this piece is all to itself. So we have the piece all to itself times a 2x and up top a 2x. Well, 2s are going to cancel. X's are going to cancel. You're left with 1 up top and in the bottom, 3x squared plus 1. That's what it simplifies to.